Robin and Velcomen Miners, welcome back. Happy Thursday to all y'all. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different today. Instead of hopping in a league, we're going to go ahead and uh, play in the Mana Trader series. See if we can qualify for that today. Uh, I already got one win under my belt. I did one with uh, the Wheel Snoppy deck that we were playing on Tuesday that we trophied with. Just felt like doing it and destroyed Sneak and Show. So I think that's going to be a good matchup. We're, we're going to go a little bit more old school today. Um, we're going back to where it all began with Infect, so we're we're gonna take this through. See if we can replicate Fenris Cloud's run. He went like seven and one to qualify with this a little while ago. Not this exact list. Um, I I know it's controversial in the Infect community, but I don't think Scrove is good. I think it's bad Mother of Runes. I have said that before. I will say it again. I will die on that hill. So we're just gonna go for a primarily Simic base here. We got some white cards in the sideboard. Um. We're gonna give this a shot, see how it goes, see if we can qualify for a Mantra series today. So I need five more wins in a row if I wanna just get the 100% win rate as quickly as possible. Or uh, we're, we're just gonna see if we can get enough wins to qualify for this thing. So see who we get paired against, have some fun, talk about the uh, potentially leaked updates about Paper Legacy. Um, I don't know if anyone has seen that yet. Pleasant Kenobi put up a video earlier today with some potentially leaked information about the future of Paper Legacy and that it's basically dead. Um, one of the only ways that was left to qualify for any like pro level event in Legacy was in Teams Trios where the Legacy player was the third player. And uh, depending on who won, um, the Legacy player would get an invite along with the other two players. However, it seems like, I guess, under the new rules that could be coming out, um, it will end up being the Legacy player will not get an invite, only the Modern and the Standard players will. So the last way to qualify in paper ended up just going away if this ends up being true. So the only true competitive Legacy play is going to be online anymore, which obviously the online community is thriving even if we're small um what do we got here we actually have a pretty decent hand here um we would like some pump spells but i think we're gonna keep this we have multiple infectors so if they have like one for one removal we're pretty well guarded here we're also in a position where i can turn one hierarch turn two ink moth blighted agent hold up a spell pierce so i don't hate that The fact that we've got two evasive infectors is pretty sweet. So I think we're gonna keep this. Uh, yeah, so the future paper legacy is basically dead. Um, that being said, since there's no point in sanctioning paper legacy events anymore, I think the community should just embrace proxies. I mean, this isn't the solution to the reserve list I was hoping for, but it's a solution to it. If none of the events are sanctioned, you don't have to have real cards. You can proxy everything. So, just fucking let us play with proxies, and I mean, maybe I'll sell the RL cards that I got together. I don't know, but it is a solution, but not the solution I was going for. Oh boy, they're on something snobby. That's not good. Eight cast, maybe. Chucked a wasteland. That's disturbing. Oh, they're on Mystic Forge combo. Are we just dead on turn one to a Mystic Forge combo? This spell pierce is looking pretty silly now. What else do you have, opponent? Or are you just going to untap this next turn? All right, he's going to crack it to go find something. Let you get another... Oh, you're having a Urza Saga. Okay, so they're going to go for a fair game plan, I guess. But they're just going to try to kill us with Urza Saga. So we need pump spells, like, ASAP. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a hell of a turn. Um, pump spells, please. Give me some pump spells. Okay, Brainstorm is something...
I need to get down this Blighted Agent. It's just a matter of... Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and just get down the Blight Agent. We can Brainstorm, or we can go help here or something if the opportunity presents itself. We do run the risk of Brainstorm locking ourselves if we go for end of turn. The opponent does have two unknowns in hand still. They just have ass loads of mana. Okay, one unknown left in hand. Because I, okay, cool. We are going to get to brainstorm with a fetch. So we're hoping between these four draws, we hit the pump spells we need to just win. Okay, brainstorm isn't what I was looking for. Okay, Vines of Vastwood is something. Put back, put back. Fetch away, grab another one of these. So this should give us a lethal next turn. We go ahead and do this. Play out an Ink Moth Nexus. Because this is going to be three with the Vines of Vastwood next turn. That gives us lethal at seven. Assuming they don't kill us. Whatever their last card in hand is, clearly isn't that great, I guess. They can make a construct. That doesn't screw us over at all. We just have to fade whatever this draw was, basically. Cracking an expedition map. Okay. What? What land are they grabbing here? Wasteland on the Ink Moth Nexus is actually kind of okay. Like, we're using this as bait, basically. We can get through a single Maze of If, if they randomly have one of those for some reason. I'm not sure what utility land they could have. Tabernacle, if for some weird reason they had that, would be kind of bad. But, again, still not the end of the world. Okay, Blast Zone is fine. I guess. Unless they just feel like popping it. Because, what, it's three to pop it? Okay. I mean, I guess we'll see if they pop it in response. All right, let's see if they pop it in response. Nope. Okay. Move to blocks? I think we got this. That's that's fucking lethal, right? Seven, ten, yeah, that that's lethal. All right, we got there. All right, um, against Mystic Forge combo, all of the Force of Vigors. Um, I don't really know if there's anything else we want against them. To be completely honest, like. We could bring in the source of postures to deal with constructs, but do they really use their graveyard much? I really don't know. I, I haven't seen a Mystic Forge combo list in a while to know what's actually in it. Let's see if I can find one real quick. Any Mystic Forge combo lists in the deck, though? Yes. 
Barnes, Chalice of the Voids, Defense Grids, Local Metal Coding, Dismember, Snaring Bridge. Yeah, they don't really use their graveyard, so there's probably no point in that. So, yeah. Probably just bring in the Force of Vigors. Um, Day seems pretty bad. Living Library seems probably pretty bad, too. Yeah, let's try this. Luckily, as far as a combo deck goes, these guys are a relatively slow combo. Uh, this is not keepable. <laughs> so there's no Infector, so traditionally this means ship it. But we've got defense and we've got a redraw. It's just a question of what's better to get rid of, Invigorate or Vines of Astwood? I think we're gonna commit to Cardinal Sin and keep a no in factor. Uh, I think we're gonna pitch Vines of Astwood. Okay. Okay, and they just add up their mana. Into a manifold key, okay. All right, nothing else. Okay, I like Ink Moth Nexus, that helps us a lot. But we are gonna start off with a Ponder. Drop Elf Force of Vigor, I guess. So we have Force of Will and we have Force of Vigor if we absolutely need it. I'd prefer not to check this Invigorate and would like to hold on to it for that Listener Elf, but. We've got essentially five mana to do something here. Six mana. Yeah, six mana. Uh, Trinisphere, we are 100% forcing that. And then on their upkeep, I think we're going to go ahead and force away both of their mana sources. All right, yeah, upkeep we're going to force. Blow up Saga and Grim Monolith. Leave them with one mana. And then just try to fade a wasteland and hit some pump spells. Uh, this is in your upkeep, so I'm not sure what you're doing with this mana, buddy. Okay. You have one mana. Two mana. Okay, well, they're rebuilding. I guess that's a thing. Uh, a Berserk off the top and we win. No, not a Berserk. Okay. Well, get in for chip damage. Luckily, whatever is left in their hand apparently isn't that impressive. So we're still just waiting for pump spells, basically. Look. Oh, they have a dismember. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
Okay, well, we're both in top deck mode now. Um, hopefully I hit a... Hey, what's up, Alexander? Hopefully I hit an Infector here quickly, because we were both in top deck mode now. Luckily, a huge part of their deck is just mana. Yeah, Caracas doesn't do anything here. Um, we have way better card selection than they do. So the hope is that we either hit a cantrip or we hit an infector. Or we just hit another invigorate. Luckily, that means any infector is lethal over two turns. But we still need to find one. They do have scary top decks. That is probably their best land they could have drawn. So I need to find something, preferably not a Glistener Elf. Ugh. All right. That dismember was clutch for them, unfortunately. So they now have a creature online. It's going to be relatively large. Plus whatever they top decked. Uh oh, they, they top decked something big. Ooh, Karn. That's not good. All right, what's he going to grab is the question. What? Indeed, Karn Ripper's off the fucking top, but we're, we're up a game, so even if we go to game three, we're also going to be heavily favored in game three. That's annoying, but it shuts down their constructs. We also have answers to an ensnaring bridge, so. Speaking of answers to ensnaring bridge. <laughs> we still need to find an infector though. So what, they'll probably grab Pithing Needle and name Ink Moth Nexus here, is what I would assume. Like a Blighted Agent off the top would be, oh no, just more mana, okay. Okay, so we know what they got then. Oh, opponent, are you doing this pre-combat? I was going to say, Fona, are you going to lock yourself under a snaring bridge here? Oh, okay. Get your six damage in, opponent. Okay, okay. All right, opponent saw the line. They, they saw their six damage. Why are you? Oh, okay. I thought he. Wait. Did he activate Karn once already this turn? Oh, no. He did it last turn. Okay. He's going to Microsoft lock us here. Never mind. I thought he revealed this last. or this turn. That is on me. Show me the Microsoft and then I'll scoop it. That's fine. Yep. Okay. Us being on the play is going to be huge. I think we are just gonna run it back here. So. What the actual fuck is this song? <laughs> okay, I've never heard of Swaco before. <laughs> All right, yeah, being on the play, this will help us a lot, I'm sure. Because theoretically we can turn to um.
All right, I will repeat this. This this is an interesting song. I've never fucking heard of this guy band whatever before, but this is a this is a very interesting song to say the least. <laughs> All right, so hopefully these brainstorms can get us some kind of extra defense so that they don't just like slam a turn one Trinosphere or something. Because uh, a Trinosphere would be annoying. But it is mulliganing, so that should help us. Luckily, this version of Infect is not nearly as dead to uh, Chalice the way that modern infect is so maybe i should have gone a little more aggressive but i like the evasiveness of ink moth we did see wasteland which is mildly problematic but So how's everyone doing in there? All right. This feels like a turn one turn sphere, but maybe they're just setting up their mana for a big turn next turn. There's also something to be said about next turn, just playing Ink Moth Nexus into Sylvan Library for some extra, um, whatchamacallit, extra card selection. Oh, they're just gonna turn one nettle sis. Um That's not as scary as it could be. A spell pierce would have been nice. Um let's put back Ponder No. Put back Misty and Spell Pierce. It's currently only a 2-2, two -two, so that's not as bad as it could be. Uh, so the question is, is do we want to ponder now? Do we want to fetch Brainstorm, Leo up a Spell Pierce to try to stop them from doing anything too crazy? We have a bunch of options here. I want to get this Ink Moth Nexus down, but I also kind of just want to play it a little more defensively and see if I can wait another turn before I can do it. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and shuffle this away. We're going to play a little bit slower. Do this. Okay, Forcible helps a lot. Put back Sylvan, put back Verdant. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and play Glistener Elf. That way we're threatening some shit next turn. So they might want to play it more defensively. We also have this Force of Will to pitch if they try to do anything too crazy over there. Okay, manifold key's fine. Not particularly concerned about that yet. Okay, they're just gonna make their germ bigger. Sure, get in. I'll take three. That's fine. What are we afraid their last card could be that could fuck us here? I actually think we let this go because we have the Ink Moth. Yeah, we'll let it go. Because if this last card is like a Karn or something that fucks us over, so I think we'll let that go. We have the Ink Moth anyways. 
Okay, they're just gonna pass. That's fine. Ponder. Another force of will. Put Sylvan down. Force of will. We'll draw days. Play the Ink Moth Nexus and pass. Because this leaves up multiple counter spells. And we'll just have to clear the way next turn, basically. They don't have a particularly fast clock at the moment. Like, we, we can take a few hits from a 3-3. Three, three. That obviously could change very quickly, but... Passing the turn. Passing. Well, we'll get in for our chip damage. This kind of makes me think they have another... Um... Whatchamacallit? This also turns another Invigorate into lethal now. Or Vines of Astwood. Yeah, this is another Dismember. They're going to actually pay for a Dismember. Okay. We will force this. Or actually, do we want to spell pierce this in days? Gives us two force. It saves us life. Leaves us with force to pitch force if needed. It sets us back one mana. So we. Hmm. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and force it. Fuck it. And another four. I mean, it doesn't really change the number of counter spells we have on their turn anyway, so... Ugh, fucking wasteland. God damn it. Okay. That's fucking annoying. So now we need like a Vines of Astwood or something? It shouldn't let us draw here. Into a fucking daze. Okay. That is unfortunate. Ugh. Sure, you can have a grim model. That's fine. Turn your dude into a two turn clock. Our hope is that we top deck of vines of Astwood is basically what we need here. Like, for them to wait and then for us to top deck of vines is our only real hope. Uh, another invigorate. I mean, let's see if they fuck it up. They could fuck this up. I don't think they will, but... Nope. Oh, okay. Ugh, oh, fuck. Top deck in the wasteland, god damn it. Oh man, we, we would have had it too, fuck. Oh well. Well, on to the next one. This will refresh and I can get a new match. I just... <sighs> Opponent had back-to-back -back fucking crazy top decks those second two games. 
fucking Karn off the top to lock it up, and then fucking Wasteland off the top to ruin our one Infector. Womp. All right, come on. All right. Looking for the Sky Nomad, so that means we're probably up against the Orion player here. All right, Sky Nomad. Do you actually have a Orion deck? Or are you actually your namesake? I won the die roll. That's nice. Oh, hey, hey, Judge. They they don't have the Sky Nomad. I, I'm calling bullshit here. That is a deck registration error. We'll keep this. Start off with a Ponder, turn two Blighted Agent, Days back up, hopefully something better off of this Ponder as well. Okay, opponent. Come on. I actually got to see these guys live up in uh, Minneapolis. Or no, not Minneapolis. It was, it was actually here in Omaha that I saw these guys. And like, phenomenal show, but the singer's voice was super fucked up that night. He sounded super, super like high-pitched and nasally. So I think he might have been coming down with something. But other than that, great show. All right, well, opponents are only getting a bunch, so I'm hoping that means they're on some kind of, like, turn one combo deck that's just going to fucking die to a daze, is what I'm hoping. And mold the five. What do we got here? I like Force. I like. I actually like all of these. Let's. Let's put Noble on the. Yeah, we'll draw the Force just in case we need multiple counters. We might take a turn off to play the Noble Hierarch, depending on what our opponent does here. Wow, we're just up against Urza's Saga decks like crazy today. So this could be eight cast or it could be Saga Storm. I'm thinking Saga Storm based off of what I'm seeing here because eight cast actually hasn't been a huge presence lately. Oh no. Um. This sucks, but yeah, we can't let that Emery live. We can't let him have as much repeatability here. Sucks we're blowing both of our counters here, but it is what it is. Because they could redraw. Okay, yeah, they're going to get their two card redraw. We're just hoping that they don't have blue card force of will. Now we can just slam this. Okay, so they're actually only drawing one. All right, please do not have blue card force of will. Because luckily, once this resolves, yeah, they don't have a ton of removal. Unfortunately, our next draw is a land, but. All right, so they're going to be able to make some constructs. But I think we're going to have a faster clock here. So luckily, this deck doesn't really play a removal main deck. So since we stuck the Blighted Agent, unless they can hit a Aether Spell Bomb and a way to have blue mana, I think we're pretty good. We just got to worry about um, counter spells for our pump spells mostly. So they know that we're drawing a miss or a trap here. 
So since we're drawing blind next turn, there's no sense in playing out the Misty. Play the land they know about and save that in case we hit a Brainstorm. Get in there, get our two. They can make a do, but it's only going to attack as a 3-3. Three, three. And they don't know about this Invigorate sitting in my hand, which is an extra 4 damage. So they're actually roughly sitting at 6. I suppose this could be a way to go get an Aether Spellbomb now, but we'll see if that's what they do or not. They also are starting to stack up cards, so there's a possibility that they could start chaining together thought casts and shit and find their force of wills to deal with my pump spells, but we'll see what they do. All right, they grab the Aether Spellbomb. Do they have the blue mana? Another Urza Saga. Yeah. Okay, there's blue mana. So now I either need a protection spell or they're going to pop it this turn. Ugh, fuck. I wonder if you're feeling real good about this to not so great. We need a way to protect this fucking bladed agent. That is a Vines of Astwood. This is also theoretically lethal as long as they don't have a force of will. So we're gonna fucking go for it. Move the blocks. Pop it. Fucking pop it. Do it. They're thinking about it. <laughs> either way, they're either dead this turn or dead next turn if they have no other way to interact with us. Because this will get them up to 8, so just the Blighted Agent attack next turn will do it, and we can sit back and try to protect with the Vines of Astwood. If they pop it now, we Vines now. Alright. Big bucks in the whammy, no force! They're not instantly firing off a force, so... All right, we got there. All right, we got game one. I like it. Okay. Assuming match two, or game two, is going to be much fucking harder. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to bring Red and Realm Breakers in for, to be completely honest. I'm also debating if I should bring in these Swords to Plowshares or not. We definitely want the Force of Vigors. I don't know if I should bring the Caracas in. It does bounce a good chunk of their payoffs. But I don't know if it's worth it. Like, maybe drop the one of Pendlehaven for the Caracas. I definitely want the Force of Vigors. Endurances do a lot against Emery as well as another way to stop it from doing things, at least for a turn. <laughs> um, Surgical also does some damage against them if I wanted to bring that in. Um, I'm, sorry, I really, I'm not totally sure what Red and Realm Breaker is for. I'm assuming more mid rangey games. But, uh, um, I'm supposed to take the Force of Wills out. I don't like it, but I know I'm supposed to. 
I'm actually kind of tempted to just trim some dazes and some spell pierces and keep the forces. Um, Vines is going to be huge here. Listener Elf is actually pretty bad. It feels really bad going down Infectors, but it's actively bad in this matchup. They have just so much shit to block with. Maybe just do some trimming around the edges for these cards. Trim one there. Trim a force, trim a daze, trim a daze. Probably wrong to trim a glistener out, but we're gonna give it a shot. It just feels so bad. They have so many fucking blockers. This is very likely incorrectly had a sideboard for this matchup, but honestly I haven't been running into much 8 cast lately, and I don't remember the last time I ran into it with Infect. Uh so this is a great defensive hand, but it commits the cardinal sin of keeping a hand with no infector. We do get we get to look at four cards to find one though. I think I know this is a sin, but we're gonna keep it. It's sketchy, but the payoff is real good if we can hit an Infector off of the Ponder. I know it's like the cardinal rule is do not keep a hand with Infect without an Infector. But being the Legacy version is a little bit different because you have the cantrips. So I can go ahead and actually just blow a bunch of shit up here. Because I don't care much about that chalice at the moment. Yeah, I, I know it's a super sketchy hand, but I don't know. I made my bet. I'm going to lie in it here. Um, I saw Spellbomb, so I think we're actually going to go ahead and... Let's get him off this shit. We'll keep the protective spell. Interesting, the opponent is deciding not to crack their bobble. Okay, well we found an infector. Now we just need land number two. <laughs> you, you, yeah, critiquing the hand, like, yeah, I would've kept it too, fuck it. Um, show me another land. I mean, that's about as good as we can get here, honestly. <laughs> like, yeah. We slam Blighted Agent next turn, then do Noble into hope that they don't have shit. Hopefully that was like, their whole hand was just banking on this shit. Because we cut him off a cut. Opponent kept the one lander too. Nice. Our opponent is just as fucking greedy as we are. I fucking love it. <laughs> All right. Our opponent is just as greedy as us, and I fucking love it. <laughs> And next turn we start swinging in for two, and then our top decks are live. Okay, they finally found some mana. I kind of want to uh, force of will this, like, take the advantage now. I think we're going to. This is a bit greedy, but they're desperate, so I feel like it's worth the force of will here. Okay, I like another ponder. See if we can hit another land. Ooh, an ink moth too. 
Ink Moth on the bottom. It would suck if we have to shuffle away the second Noble again, but it is what it is. If I gotta shuffle it, I gotta shuffle it. But we needed that land. Because I'd rather shuffle after the second. Well, actually, I probably want the Ink Moth Nexus too. I guess we'll see. We'll see how this progresses. I'm willing to play the slow ish game here and just basically protect this Blighted Agent at all costs. If they drop a Psy and start making Thopters, that. Uh, whatchamacallit looks pretty bad. The uh, Ink Moth Nexus, but we'll see. Fortunately, I am out of shit. If this is into a force of will, that sucks. Okay. All right, so I'm in top deck mode now, which sucks a little bit, but they seem to be as well, and they're still not hitting lands. So we don't need to play out this land. Make them think that we drew some kind of interaction here so that they think twice about doing anything. I'm really surprised they're not cracking this bobble. Like, I'm very surprised they're not cracking this bobble just for the sake of trying to get another card. Okay, they found a thought cast finally. Okay, so now they're probably going to play the. Cracking bobbles to get cards game. But who knows? If they still have no lands, this is still good for us. Because we are like a pump spell away from just winning here. Still no lands. Okay. Play out the Ink Moss so we have a second Infector. Make them still think we have some kind of interaction here. We can just hold the course. We're two turns away from just killing them. It's still really weird they're not cracking these bobbles, especially that Urza's bobble to see what we have in our hand. Okay, they're finally doing that so they can see what's in our hand. Okay. Well, now we can have six. They know it's just a land, so the jig's up on that one. So our hope is that they still just don't have shit. Okay, so they're finally finding mana, but it's painful mana. There is also the world where like we can start attacking with Noble Hierarch if we have to, and get them with the normal damage kill. Luckily, this is unblockable, so. All right, so they're seeing what we're drawing. Hopefully something good. I don't know how many dismembers they have. Best infect win is a normal damage kill. I fucking one shotted someone with a dryad arbor in modern ones. <laughs> it felt fantastic. <laughs> Come on. All right, they're doing Kappa Cannon here. Yep, Cannon here. Okay. It's going to be very hard for them to one-shot us with three cards off of a Kappa Cannon here. It's possible, but it's hard.
Okay, I like Sylvan Library. That's not bad at all. Give us a little bit of selection. Either that or Bates a Counterspell out of their hand. Like I said, they can definitely kill us from 16 with a Cannoneer in one turn, but it's going to take a absolutely ridiculous string of draws to be able to do it. They're also staring down two independently lethal uh, threats here. Okay. They're, they're starting their process. Okay, okay. They need some card draw, though, to make this lethal. Okay, going to see what one of our three cards we get to look at is. Yeah, but Blagin does things. <laughs> Blagin takes blocking out of the equation. It's still, like, it baffles my mind that this thing is a fucking common. Okay, get him for your six. That's fine. All right, and they scoop it up. Cool, we got there. All right, all right, all right. I'm curious what our next cards were. Uh, Force of Will, Berserk, and Brainstorm. Okay. We probably would have gotten there regardless. All right, Alexander, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. All right, come on, Mana Traders. Update my record, please. <laughs> Okie dokie. We'll just refresh, that'll do it. There we go, okay. Um, yeah. Let's play the next match. I gotta say, mad props to Mana Traders for putting on these tournaments. Like, it's super cool that they do these free diner tournaments. I admit I'm joining this one a little bit later than I wanted to. I was hoping to join way, way earlier because it started back on the 5th. Um, and it's super cool. They also rotate what formats they are. This is the first one I've seen that's Legacy, which is sweet. But, like, I've seen Pioneer, Modern, Standard. Um, they actually had a Commander one recently, which I was... I need to look into how that actually went because that kind of confused me how they would do that but all right we are up against lucas game one good games all right let's see what they're doing all right here we go Won the die roll, that's good. Uh, I'd like a different Infector, but I think we're gonna keep this. Like, we have two Ink Moth Nexuses. Most of all, we have a very defensive hand here. We've got a lot of redraws. It's a little awkward, we only have one fetch land, so we're gonna start off with the Ponder, see if we can find another one. But. Overall, it's not a bad end. I'm looking all the way to five, so I'm wondering if there are another combo deck. Well, in which case, all these counters should be great. Here there, they just had a fucking awful six. Oh, Chancellor of the Annex? Ew. Okay. Well, that stops our first play then. Hopefully this is Reanimator and not that, like, crazy humans deck. Because I feel like we have a better shot against Reanimator. Ew. 
the fuck? I don't know what our opponent's doing. Cancel the Annex into an Urza Saga. Well, that is definitely another fucking Inkmoth Nexus. I really don't know what our opponent's doing over there. All right, so that, that trigger is cleared now. Glistener Elf isn't the greatest, I think. I, I mean, I'll play the Glistener Elf, but with this is making me think that they have a bunch of other stuff. Like, they're going to have a bunch of creatures on the ground to block with. So this will at least be able to clear the Glistener Elf out of the way. Or clear everything else out of the way. And we could, maybe we luck out and they don't make a bunch of constructs. I don't fucking know. I have no idea what's going on over there. Hopefully they don't have a soul land. Romox. What are they putting under this? They're putting the Chancellor under it. Is this just some really weird, like, mono white initiative deck? I don't know what's going on over there. I really, really don't. Okay, Invigorate's good. Let's put back... Glistener Elf is looking pretty bad here, so we can put Glistener Elf back. Probably one of the redundant Ink Moth Nexuses, honestly. Well, let's start getting in with chip damage. This turns another Invigorate into lethal. Again, that one little bit of chip damage in. Swords? I think we let this go because we have another one. Yeah, we'll just let it go for now. I'd rather force it will something important. Because we're going to have another one of these. Well, unless I got Pithy Needle. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, Pithy Needle would have shut that off anyway, so I guess we'll see what they grab here. Copter Foundry. Okay. Ew, Wasteland sucks. Oh, okay. They're just blowing it on that. that that's fine. What is this? Create a Copter? Cost three mana? No, make a... Okay, now they've got to invest more mana in it to be able to make a Thopter that can block. Okay. That's fine. Way to turn this into lethal next turn. Vines of Vastwood is two more turns, but then we're just dead to these. Do we want to shuffle this, or do we want to keep the Ponder and the Brainstorm? Alright. I'm going to do that, and we need to Ponder into another Invigorate, basically. Little unfortunate. Let's we'll see what happens here. Oh my god. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> Alright, so I still don't know what they're doing over there. Like, I'm really not super sure what's going on over there. Um that was <laughs> Bring in the Force of Vigors. Um, I don't think we need Sylvan Library in this matchup. It seems like they're going to have a bunch of mana, so probably drop a daze. 
Yeah, I don't know what our opponent's doing over there. It almost looks like the Mystic Forge deck again, but that doesn't normally play Chancellor of the Annex and do Stompy stuff. Uh, that double Wasteland sucked. Yeah, we'll keep this. Hope they don't have another super fast construct hand. They have a spell pierce to protect us from anything too crazy on turn one, assuming it's not just like an initiative creature. Okay. This will be telling. Okay, so it is a weird ass human deck. What is Astalia? Fuck you, Thalia. That's a force of will. But back to two lands. Oh, wait. Fuck, it can't be countered anyways. Okay, never mind. Disregard. I'm an idiot. Um, I mean, we're just going to slam a Blighted Agent. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was that was fucking rough. Apparently, it's just Bell Pierce the fucking Lotus Petal. Oh my god! All right, so this is just some weird mono white bullshit. Ugh, I fucking hate Solitude so much. Into an Urza Saga, okay. I, I do not like her odds on this one. Thalia has to be like one of my top five most hated cards. Thalia, Solitude, like... Most of the shit that goes into these mono white decks, I just cannot fucking stand. <laughs> All right, no, yeah, nothing is getting fucking. Uh... Okay, so this is just like a weird version of the mono white initiative stompy stuff. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna thin our deck here. Do a noble hark, noble hark. Yeah, we'll we'll just play it out. Fuck it. Maybe we can get this glistener all big enough that we can actually do things with it. Yeah, make it, dude. All right, so as least it's happening out to make a dude. Uh, we're going to fetch before they get a chance to grab a pithy needle. We're not going to fall for that mistake again. Because the nice part is, is we can actually kill both of these. Oh, they grabbed the Thopter Foundry again? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> so many fucking Urza Sagas. Go ahead, have fun. Like, we're not dead, but the chances of us actually getting back from this are so fucking slim. It's one of those things where it's like, is it worth doing this? I 
Hey, we'll let the constructs live for now. We'll just take this shit out. Oh, yeah. The chances of us surviving are very fucking slim right now. But I know I'm technically not dead yet, so I should give it a shot here, but fuck. These fucking mono white decks. <laughs> and that hints that they have Archon of Emeria too, which is, again, in my like top five most hated fucking cards. <laughs> Fucking solid. And a wasteland, okay. It's really interesting that they keep only attacking in with one. It's kind of strange. I'm just drawing all of my fucking lands. This is kind of getting ridiculous. <laughs> We're an 18 land deck and we've drawn five, six, seven, eight of them. <laughs> Okay, they're so confident, they're just shocking in an Emeria. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> really want to know what the hell they have over there with those three cards in hand. Oh, it's just literally just all lands. I mean, we've got another Glistener Elf. Which we still can't attack with because Thalia has first strike. I mean, the nice part is, is A, a, uh, whatchamacallit isn't castable, uh, Solitude, but it's counterable right now. This is just really weird that they're only attacking in with one. Oh my god, deck. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> this fucking deck right now, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Esper Shentanel. If we don't draw something relevant, I'm just fucking scooping. Go ahead. Get in. Get in there, buddy. Good game. <laughs> what the fuck, deck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Well, we are queuing up for the next one. I will be right back. That was... <laughs> that was fucking stupid. I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. Our next opponent is, uh, what the fuck, Andy? What's up, girl? Hey, you want to say hi? Want to say hi? Here, come on. You will not hop up on here and say hi anymore. God damn it. What's up, baby? Okay, um, I mean, I guess we can keep this. Uh, do we? So we have an infector, we have a redraw, we have a fuckload of lands, so I mean, I guess we'll give it a go. Very weak if we're up against an opposing combo deck, but we'll, we'll see what they do. We also just scoop to a turn one chalice, basically. Okay. Ponder or Thought Seize? Ponder. Okay, so we're up against Death Shadow. Which again, mid-range decks are historically extremely hard for Infect. I don't know. I, I really don't think Infect is very well positioned in Legacy at the moment. Um, mad credit to Sam for being able to pull what he does with this deck, but Jesus Christ, okay. Um, but I just don't think Infect is very well positioned. There's just so much fucking hate for it in the top decks right now. Especially when you're seeing shit like this, seeing play and baleful streaks. Sure, kind of shuts down a glistener elf, but and then we have shit like this, where our deck is just like, "Oh, I'm 18 lands. I'm gonna have you draw them all." I mean, we'll just put back the two actual fucking lands. <laughs> We're gonna fetch him the fuck out anyways. If they have zero interaction and we manage to top deck a Berserk, we're in a good spot. <laughs> but I know that's asking a lot from fucking Death Shadow. And here's the Thoughtsies. Oh, no, Fatal Push, okay. That could have been worse. That could have been significantly worse. If it's followed up by a Thought Seize, then we cry. Oh, it's Death Shadow Ninjas? Okay, I will say, what the fuck, Andy? What the fuck? Well, that's going to be a pretty much unchecked uh, problem here. Guess what, opponent? We drew another one. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't help that we flooded out hard as fuck here, too, but, like, when you're facing up against shit like this that just has hate for fucking everything, like, I, I really don't think Infect is in a good position at all. Alright, so they're on... Yeah, like Ninja Death Shadow. All right, yeah. We're just gonna go to the next one. Um, I think we might swap decks here after this match. If we lose this one, like, again, mad credit to Sam for being able to pull it off, but right, we're bringing in those. Uh, I think this is the matchup we want Red and Realm Breaker in. Endurance seems pretty good for a Flash Blocker. Um, probably take out the spell pierces, take out force of wills, more trim from one days or something like that. Yeah, I think we might swap this up after this match. I, I just don't think 
in fact in particular is very well positioned right now i on it i'm kind of tempted to try the jun version that i did that i went for one with um i guess we can try this We'll give this a go, see what we can do here. Um, we're gonna keep this, let's put... I hate to do it, but I think we're putting Sylvan Library to the bottom. We got a daze to protect our Glistener Elf. There's spot removal protection as well. Tolly push? A tolly push. They have force of will on top of this. I'm going to be pissed. No? Okay, cool. We're gonna hold up the vines of asswood for protection, and then next turn we'll do the brainstorm. Unfortunately, again, this is like the worst infector we have in this matchup because thought squeeze. We can have a brainstorm. Oh, they kept a one lander. That is promising for us that they kept a one lander. That concerns me though. Like, why would they keep a one lander with zero counter spells? Like, the fact that they kept that with like no counter spells is very concerning to me. So the fact that they don't have counter spells means this should resolve when we start getting card selection. Because I feel like they would have fucking countered that last one if they had something. Unless it's like a force negation. I am so confused why they are countering what they are countering. Unless they don't actually have the second blue card. <laughs> I don't know what our opponent is thinking in terms of what they want to counter and what they don't. Oh, okay. Why would you not have countered my protection spell? But whatever, opponent. You do you. They getting down a Death Shadow now? Is that what else was in their hand? No? I'm so confused by what our opponent's doing. Oh, they're just gonna... Oh, okay. I mean, that slows me down by a turn, I guess. Oh, okay. I see what they're doing now. Well, that sucked. That was quite unfortunate. Unfortunately, now they do have a blocker with this with this uh, brazen borrower. 
But a pump spell gets through the brain of the borrower. So I'm assuming they're going to flash in the Brazen Borrower here and start trying to go to town. But they really should be leaving attack on defense. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what they got. Are you staying back or are you getting in? Getting in. Okay. Oh. Okay. Guess we'll see what they reveal off of Eureka. Oh, they're gonna put what they want on top. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Really thinking over what they want to put back on top, apparently. Okay. Don't want Brazen Borrower again? Okay. A death shadow too. Yep. Okay. So come on, invigorate off the top. Really, deck. Fucking really. So now it needs to be a vine's vastwood off the top. They've only got two left in the deck. Oh, God damn it, deck. Man, we're just going to take our hit. Like, well, actually, the pump from the noble. Yeah, the pump from the noble is fucking irrelevant. So, I'm just going to chump block the Eureka. Because it basically needs to be a Vines of Asswood or we're dead. Like. And now that doesn't do it either. Well, that sucked. One color. Right there. Womp. All right, we're gonna switch up decks then. Like I said, I I really don't think Infect is in a good place. So we're we're gonna switch things up. We're gonna go back to our Wheel Stompy deck that we were just absolutely fucking destroying with. So we're gonna go back to that. Where is it? This is what we're gonna swap into. Actually, no, that is not what it was. Where the fuck is this deck? God damn it. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I, just with everything that's out there right now, I, I don't think Infect is in a good place at all. Unfortunately. Come on. Stop lagging, mana traders. <sighs> Uh, I think the tray got, yeah, the tray got fucked up. God damn it. Sometimes mana traders lags and it fucks up when you're trying to give cards back. All right, confirm trade. There we go. Okay. Um, What version do we have? Um...
I don't know why this keeps trying to fucking grade me. I return the cards. All right, so yeah, we're gonna swap it up to the wheel snoppy deck. Um, sure, except there shouldn't fucking be anything. Yeah, cancel that trade. Okay, hopefully that clears it out. Um, is it this version? Version? Yes, this is the version we're playing. Okay, so this is the one that we went on a tear with and ended up fucking getting a trophy with. And then the following league, I ended up going two and two. I had to drop before I could finish my final match, unfortunately. Um, and then, yeah, I just played a quick game in the Mana Trader series originally and just destroyed Sneak and Show. Green info, get the right fucking. trade all right let's see if we can ruin some people's days with this like we were doing earlier Okay, okay. Let's get our next matchup and see if we can get back on the winning streak here. See if we can go on a tear now. All right. Got our match. We're up against Deaconev? Something like that? See if we can turn this around. Really? There we go. Okay. See what this opponent is on. Lost a die roll, but oh well. I don't mind this. I'll keep this. We have a Force of Wills and O Ship button. We'd prefer not to. We also have a turn one Hull Breacher. Um, I would very much like another blue card to be able to pitch to this Force of Will. That is not a blue card. Depending on what they do here, we can either Hull Breacher or we can try to force through a Karn. We'll see what our opponent's doing. Or they're just going to Wasteland. See if we can get this in. It sticks. Do they have a kill spell? At this time, no. Another blue card to be able to... Or we just have another fucking Ancient Tomb. Hopefully their hand is just a whole bunch of cantrips now. The next turn, we might go ahead and just try to force a Karn. <laughs> okay, uh, we are not getting to this Karn, is what I'm hearing here. See if they fetch. Oh, they saw the line. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, they're through two Wastelands, but I think we're still going to fucking name Wasteland. 
Because we cannot have them continually blowing up our goddamn lands. Oh, Jesus. I mean, we're either dodging they have zero removal, or they just decided trying to blow up our lands was more important. All right, Sultai something. Target player, well, apparently they care about us naming Wasteland. They're milling themselves. Okay. Apparently they very much want to just Wasteland us into Oblivion. So I'm assuming that means they're a Loam deck. Well, if all they're going to do is fucking wasteland us to death, hopefully this little hull breacher can get us there. We also do have, like, if they try to kill the hull breacher, we do have something to pitch to this force of well now. So I think we're just in protect the queen mode. Yeah, this is definitely a lone deck of some sort. Tide Regent, I'm going to say no to that. Alright, so now we need mana like a motherfucker. That is mana. I would like another soul land if possible. All right, unfortunately, they finally got rid of our guy, which turns on their cantrips. Oh, they're going to reanimate our Hull Breacher. Okay. It's annoying that they reanimated our Hull Breacher. Jesus fucking Christ. Just the, the amount of wastelands they've had is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Alright, so what are we bringing in? Uh, we are bringing in Defense Grid. We are bringing in Force of Negation. <laughs> That's probably it. Swear to God, if they hit a fucking life from low and they blow up to Zerza Saga, I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> Alright, Uro's gonna be a fucking problem. Well, maybe. If we can hit a mana source, we actually can slam this car and get Graveyard Hate, blow it up, and then it just dies to Hull Breacher, but it's a thing. This is not to shuffle. That's a little concerning. Days on, yeah, no, nah, okay. Womp. The, the pure amount of wastelands they had is what did it. If it wasn't for those fucking wastelands, I think we would have had that. 
All right, so for what they're doing, we're bringing a Tormod's Crypt in, we're bringing Defense Grids in. Probably actually take the Force of Wills out since we're bringing in Defense Grid. Try that. Alright, let's see what we got here. So this has stuff, but I think it's too slow. I think we try to keep this. Let's go ahead and put this land to the bottom. All right, we're gonna try to bait out a fucking wasteland early now. Okay, resolved. Okay, baited out the wasteland. I actually did exactly what I wanted it to. Soul land, soul land. All right. Got another wasteland? Oh. I'm gonna get at least one construct out of this. Possibly a Karn. Okay, where's the Saga's gonna live? Are they gonna Witherbloom command us to get rid of this uh, defense grid? Because we can actually do some dumb shit next turn. Oh, they're gonna grief us? Okay, that's fine. What are you taking? Are you taking the Echo or are you taking the Karn? I feel like the Karn is the correct option here. Because if they don't take the current, then we get to do some real dumb shit. Unless they're just going to grief reanimate and get everything back. Takes the current. Okay. Animate? Oh, okay. It's gonna shred my hand in general. Okay. We're getting a new one anyway, so. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we draw? Chalice of Zivoy. Gonna make a dude. We are going to go get a Lion's Eye Diamond. And we're gonna spin it. Okay. Um So uh, I probably want to run everything out that I can. So it's going to look a little wonky here, but we're going to throw that under there. Play out this. We're going to name Wasteland so that they can't keep fucking Wastelanding us. 
And then we are going to go ahead and Chalice on one. And we have them on a two turn clock. Rest down's brutal, if they have it. Baleful Strix, okay. Trying to find a way out. That does cover one of the constructs, I suppose. Okay, just gonna grief us. Go ahead, take the defense grid. All right, crash in. And let's wheel again. Okay, I like this. Okay, I don't hate this hand. Not only do they have to deal with what's on the board, they're going to have to deal with what's in our hand as well. So I very much like where we're at with this. The Grist? Okay. That lets them live a turn. What are you doing, friend? Another Urza Saga is interesting. Well, we're going to play this to start. Because if we hit a Lion's Eye Diamond, we wheel and we have some fun. Or we can just daze undoing. Is what I can what are we putting under this are we putting the echo or are we putting the days undoing or the hell breacher I think we're gonna put the echo under it so unfortunately if I were to attack because I'd like to play this instead, but then I have to go for it now. So I think I go in, then I play the temple or the ancient tomb. You have to block. You you don't have a choice there. And say goodbye to your hand. They don't have a way to kill with Grist. Fortunately, I don't have a whole lot going on either. Oh, 
Ooh, that's interesting. Gonna pop deed for one? Okay. Okay, okay. So what do I want to do here? Lion's Eye Diamond, Aether Spellbomb. I think I want the Spellbomb. <laughs> so what, we can play or is a Saga? Play a Spellbomb. Play a Karn. We are kind of killing ourselves a little bit here. Is there anything in our sideboard that I want right fucking now? I'm trying to think if there's anything that we specifically want here. Because I can only tap one of these next turn. So if I were to get Micasynth Lattice now... I would need to hit a blue card to be able to pitch, or a colored card in general to pitch under this chrome mods. Let's do it. Um, it's like lattice. So I'm assuming they're just going to blow this up. Yep, blows that up. I know a Merc Tide region, okay. Through a Narset. So unfortunately, because they have shit on board now, I'm going to have to just grab a, whatchamacallit? Play this. Run this out. They'll be able to kill one of my cards, but it won't really matter that much. Throw Narset under it. Go grab an ensnaring bridge. We got a turtle up. These are effectively shut off because now if you were to down take Grist, we just die. Oh, I'm my hand's not empty. I'm an idiot. God damn it. I was forgetting my hand wasn't fucking empty. Ugh. Alright, we'll go one more. Today, our deck just doesn't want to cooperate with us, regardless of what we're fucking playing, apparently.
<sighs> Give her one more go. Up against Von Ducky. All right, come on back. Fucking work. Gotta ship that. Okay, I don't hate this. We can keep. Keep this. We will bottom the Aether Spell, though. Please do not be another Wasteland.deck, please. Please, opponent. Okay, Ancient Tomb. Up against something sloppy. Jealous on one. Please do it. Come on. One is really deciding what they want to fucking do here. This mono red prison? Like, I wouldn't hate. Like, if they just want transfer, that's actually pretty fine with us. Blood Moon sucks. So, is this mono red prison or is this initiative bolt? Come on, opponent. <laughs> Playing against the slowest red zombie player ever. <clears throat> Finally, so, okay, Trinosphere, like I said, I'm fine with the Trinosphere. That is A-O fucking K with me. Makes our lowest pedal look stupid, but... This will allow us to wheel our opponent's hand away next turn. Fable? A-O fucking K with that. We are about to lose all of our lands, but we're also about to make seven mana. Okay. Play the Edowara. Say goodbye to your hand. And we can just fucking hard cast a force of will. Have all the mana you want in the world, buddy. We are going to have to worry about this den of the bugbear, but we actually might just be able to shut that down with Karn and not give a flying fuck. So the question is... So we can do dumb shit, right? Like, we can... We can play Karn. Start by doing this. 
go get a Lion's Eye Diamond. Play it. It ends up being mana neutral. Spin our hand again. Or we can... How much does this cost to activate? Four? They don't have enough mana for that? Yeah, I think we do that. Give ourselves a new hand because we haven't played a land yet this turn. Or I can grab an EE -E on zero, but it blows up all of our shit too. Granted, we'd have to fucking do it anyways. Um, yeah, we'll just grab a Lion's Eye Diamond. We'll, we'll just spin, because why not? It actually acts as a ritual is the funny part. Because we have to pay three for the Days Undoing anyway, or the Echo of Aeons anyways. And it creates even more fucking mana to be able to do things with. Another Karn. Another Days Undoing, a Force of Will. They haven't played a land yet. Because the Days Undoing does more shits. We can play a Karn. And then we'll have five mana left over to be able to grab Sky Sovereign, play that, kill their Goblin. I don't hate that. Play new card. Keep the new one. Minus this. Yes. Go grab Sky Sovereign. Play Sky Sovereign. Sky Sovereign kill their token. Play a land. Um, pass the turn, because I can crew this with the whole breacher to be able to block the den of the bugbear. And they scoop it up. All right, against mono red prison, bring in force negations. Take out chalices. Take out a Seagate Restoration. Maybe take out Spellbomb. That might not be the correct option, but... <laughs> we'll see if this works. All right, let's see if we can get game two. It's pretty convincing game one. While we're waiting here, for those of you sticking around or catching this, go ahead, and if you like what you see, hit the follow button. I stream Tuesdays and Thursdays mostly, random other days when I have time. So make sure you hit that notification button as well to know when I'm going live. Also, check out this stream and all the old ones over on the Replay YouTube channel there, as well as direct to YouTube videos. I am making more of them now. Let me know what you think of the editing on that uh, Initiative Reanimator one. I'm still learning how to edit stuff, trying out ideas. So let me know what you like, what works, what doesn't. I'll adjust accordingly. And then all the other socials for just random dumb shit that I do. Dorky puppy pictures, random memes. Just keeping up with the dumb shit I do outside of uh, streaming here. So also we'll be doing a giveaway when I hit 10 subs. Winner's Choice Full Art Tutor from Dominaria Remastered. Either Worldly Tutor or Enlightened Tutor. Like I said, Winner's Choice. So... If you really like what you see, hit that sub button. You can also support me for free, again, with the follow button, a sub over on YouTube, like button over on the YouTube videos. All of that shit's free. If you're a Prime member, you can sub here with your Prime for free. So, all free ways to support if you like what you see. Our opponent is taking fucking forever to sideboard. Goddamn.
All right, our opponent finally decided to come back. So this, this is a turn to Karn. We've seen how well that works. I think we're going to keep this. We had the Force Negation as backup. Hopefully they're not on a, like, turn one Rabble Master plan. Turn one Blood Moon. We will say no to that. What do you have to follow up? <laughs> okay, well apparently they were gonna blood moon down regardless. We're just gonna go ahead and run that out. Hopefully they don't really have a follow up to this blood moon. Chalice on zero? Okay, that's fine. I have seen far worse than that. Unfortunately, I have literally zero fucking mana currently. Like, one more mana, I can slam a Karn, which is nice. And then I can start trying to eat their lands. Okay, that actually counts. Oh, fuck, no it doesn't. I'm an idiot. Forgot about the Chalice on zero. That's on me. I need mana. Or they can do anything. Playing a Simeon Spirit Guy. That Force of Will is a little late. Just need mana, because worst case scenario, I can Karn, go grab an Ensnaring Bridge, tunnel up under that. So I just need a land. That is a land. Like, it sucks doing this, and I hope they don't have shit in their hand. Turtle up under an ensnaring bridge and hope for the best and then start going after their mana. All right, hopefully that can get us there. Oh, opponent. All right, well, the nice part is, is they still can't do anything, so. Force of negation I literally can't cast. Hopefully we're not just going to have a bunch of shit stranded in our hand for me. That's unfortunate. Please try to do something before. Oh, I see the line. Another fucking car, god damn it. Alright, so we still got a few turns to do stuff, and if they try to do anything that's not creature based, we have it covered. Come on! God damn it, deck. Thank God, okay. Because I can actually flash in this fucking hole breacher now as a blocker just to kill this stupid monkey. Well, 
Flash in a motherfucking hole breacher in ambush viper mode. What? Okay, that's interesting. We're going to go ahead and do this. We're actually going to go ahead and... We actually might sit on this whole breacher, honestly. We'll take the hit now. If they want to blow a Fury to kill this whole Breacher, I'm okay with it. Chalice on one? That's fine. I am A-O fucking K with that. So now it will block with this whole breach. Well, actually, I don't even need to because it can't attack. So I was going to say, I don't want to get this within range of a fucking um, Fury, but a worst case scenario, like, we should be able to cast everything in our hand other than, like, Narciss and Counterspells and shit, and we can pop this LED if we need to. Chalice on one does literally nothing against us, so we don't give a shit about that. We're also going to start eating their lands here this next turn. Actually, we can Microsoft lock him next turn. Chalice on zero, that's fine. As long as they don't Fury this turn, we Microsoft lock him. Because we have the mana for it. Or we can do this. We're going to do the fun thing. <laughs> Okay, fine. We both get new hands. Well, that might have just cost me the game. The Force of Will does things. We can go ahead and tick up, eat this chalice. I can bounce the Simeon Spirit Guide if I need to. Or... I can bounce the Blood Moon, actually, if I want to. Um, I mean, we have multiple options of shit that we can do here, so we're just going to pass the turn. Like, worst case scenario, we can bounce the spirit guy back to their hand. Because even this plus a fucking fury does not kill Karn. I can actually force a will at Fury, so. Going after Karn, okay. Fable of the Mirror Breaker, do I care about that? What's still on my sideboard? I still got an LED on my sideboard if I need it. He's tapped out. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can still do it, so. I'm trying to think of what I want to do here, how I want to. I think we're going to force this. Go Urza Saga that doesn't do anything anyways. So we can go ahead and Microsynth lock here. But we still need a way to empty our hand. Let's 
they land. So if we microsynth lock, this isn't dead because it only goes down to three. And then we have another card to be able to do things with. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Um, or we could, we could always go grab this to kill the monkey. But I think we're gonna lock them. All you can do is attack, buddy. I think we locked this one up. Because next turn, I just bounce the spirit guy back to hand, start eating their lands, and they scoop it up. We won it anyways. All right, well, shows you what this deck can fucking do. <laughs> On that note, thanks for stopping by, everyone. I'm going to sign off here. i got to go fire up the grill. i got some chicken thighs marinating. We're going to be grilling out tonight. But thank you for stopping by. i got tomorrow off. I might do a morning stream, or I might just say fuck it and record some stuff. But thank you for stopping by. Again, if you haven't already, you like what you see, hit that follow button here. I'm live Tuesdays and Thursdays, 4 p.m. Central Time, other random days when I have time. But on that note, I'm going to kick you all off to Jab Jabber. Uh, looks like he's playing some kind of back to basics counterbalance bullshit. We all now head over there, have fun, tell him I say hi, and I will catch you all next time. And as always, stay safe.